as you probably thought. Take me through that car ride. I thought that was a in, maybe glanced over thing. Five hours and alone in the car from a guy who's had a lot of success over the past decade. What was that like and, and where, how far did you go in your thought process? Well, it's just like everything else. You, you climb, climb out of bed on Sunday after a loss, the season's over, and um, um, you know, you're disappointed like everybody. And as a head football coach, you know, you, you, you know, that gets placed right on your shoulders by, me, by myself. So uh, I just started driving, you know, and um, just reflecting on all the different things through every game and uh, through the injuries and through the different points of pressure, I guess you'd say, whether it's uh, moving positions or games or whatever it is, and, uh, and just sort of walking myself back through those things and then just finding my way out of it and saying, okay, this is what needs to happen. Um, this is what we need to do. And um, I just ba basically took the approach that, uh, you know, we need to go back to basics in terms of who we are, what we've, what we've done to get here. I think sometimes that when you have this type of success, you just think it's going to happen, whether you're a coach or whether you're a player especially if you're a player that hasn't been counted on before. If you're a player that is now coming up and now it's your turn. And some of our freshmen got thrown into that mix, which is very, very difficult. And a lot of our redshirt freshmen, and I hand the ball to Ryan Lewerke, who's a redshirt freshman, and say, go ahead with it. You know, um, and I think it was the Michigan game, wasn't it? Yeah. And that's a big responsibility for a young person. But there's a lot of growth that comes with that. So, you know, from my, from my perspective, you know, the, the future is bright in a, lot of, in a lot of ways. But at that point in time, when you reflect back, you know, you're making those decisions. Those are, those are tough decisions to make because I really have a great deal of respect for Tyler O'Connor and what he's had to endure as a quarterback going yep. through this. Uh, so, um, but you had to make, make calls like that. So there's a lot that went into my, into my um, thoughts as I, w I drove down that road. But... Um, at the end of it all, I felt a lot better. I felt like um, I just need to take the approach that um, uh, we're going to win with the people that are here. We're going to do things right. And it's going to be a, a higher level of, of internal discipline, a higher level of, of accountability. Um, and, you know, and I point the finger right at myself as I do this too. Yeah. You said get back to the things we do. Do you feel you got away from that a little bit, whether that be maybe over the past few years in, in recruiting style or play calling? Or you guys have... No. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not so much that. It's, it's the results. You know, we've got to get turnovers. We've got to get sacks. You know, we gotta, yeah. you know, the numbers are staggering what we've been able to do prior to. That didn't happen this year. We've got to score in the red zone. So there's some tangible things, like I said, in our yeah, press conference. Yeah. But there's some intangible things as well that it's a bit of a little bit of a mindset. You got to have confidence in yourself to make a play down the stretch. You know, the only way that you can get to that level is by playing and having confidence, mm -hmm. or having good things happen to you, having success, and success breeds confidence. So, um, I feel pretty pretty confident that we'll be successful. I, very, I feel very confident that what we've done here in the past has worked. Um, does it? doesn't mean that you don't tweak things and change schemes up uh, because you know people have a book on us as well this is what they do this is how they they do it and there's a you know people go to work to try and defeat that yeah so you have to be able to change in that respect as well but but um, I don't know you know there's just a lot a lot there and I just sort of finally said hey you know I gotta I gotta fix the things that that crazy guy who was coaching this team last <laughs> year did so um, Dark Mantonio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is yeah. that your alter, alter ego for yeah. the 2015 season? <laughs> yeah. I hear he's out there. I don't know. I don't read him much, but I hear he's out there. So, um, but um, I don't know. You just sort of, sort of reflect and you find your way out of that, that hole a little bit and you, you start to, um, and I feel like our football team feels that way too. You start to feel like uh, you start to fight back. You mentioned at times throughout the season the, the born on third mentality that, that may have, you know, with some people and, and, and admitting so. You kind of forget how hard it is to be as good as you've been for, for so long. Yeah. 
Can this shock the system? Oh, yeah. I mean, we got our two, our supposedly, according to the experts, you know, our two best recruiting classes in 10 years are our last two, two recruiting classes. We'll see how good our experts are. Okay, but uh, all that's got to come to fruition. So, you know, we'll be a young football team next year. Very young. In the respect that we only have, I think, 10 seniors. Yeah. But we have some very talented juniors and sophomores, rising sophomores and redshirt freshmen and true freshmen. And there'll be some true freshmen coming too. But so I, I think, um, you know, th there's a lot of positives in that. But um, I don't know if I'm answering your question. No, no yeah, yeah, you, you are. I mean, so just simply, you know, as we turn the page forward, I know that the clamoring for change in any thing. Oh, okay. sure. It's that's, that's, that's the society we live on. Right. And, and you know, they want change if you, if, you know, they don't like the tie you wear and they want you to change the tie you wear. I like my tie. <laughs> but uh, that's, that's, that's human nature. But as I said earlier, you know, you don't go 40 and 5 in your last 45 games if you're not doing something right. right. Um, so you've got to develop experience that has to be developed. Very few teams have, have experience at a young age to be able to move forward. If you look at Ohio State and the success that they've had lately, you can say all these guys are young with their quarterback's experience mm -hmm. and has had great success. And so, you know, there is that factor, there is that confidence factor that, that stems from that. You can say they're Mike Linebacker as a senior, you know, another guy that's older, or you know, they have juniors in the back end or whatever the case. So I'm just giving you an example of some, yeah. of so, some, some football teams. But as I said in there, when you go through three quarterbacks, a lot of it because of injuries. Yeah. A lot of it because of injuries. You know, you're going to sit there and say, "Well, I wonder how successful they were this year." And at the end, at the end of it all, you know, the productivity lacked, and uh, you know, we never could get in rhythm probably on that s at that position. Uh, totally in rhythm, even when Brian started. You know, yeah. he he only could go so far playing consistently, and then, you know, he was re replaced. Right. But uh, I think he's got a lot of upside. One more for you. What's, if there is one, a uh, defining moment for you for this season that you look back on now and kind of say, maybe not the way that it turned to go, to go south, but a moment you said, I'll remember that as my chip, my fuel to go forward and, and ensure that. Some of the things you can control, some of the things you can't control. Right. Some you can. You know, uh, if I look at it, we've got a chance for interception on a third down play against Wisconsin. We're going to walk into the end zone. We're going to be up 14 to 13. We're three and out at the beginning of the second half. The halftime score is 13-7. And uh, we make a punt. We get the ball back. We run 13 yards or whatever it is. We fumble the football. They take it the distance. You know, the next series, I think we drop a punt snap on the four-yard line, a high snap. We drop it. And all of a sudden, you go from 13 to 7 to... 27 to 7, I believe. Yeah. And if you win that football game, there's a great deal of confidence that goes with that, with our quarterback, with everything. There's a great deal of confidence. We lose John Reschke that game, who was playing very, very well. Um, so if those things don't happen like that, you know, things could change. You know, maybe you win that game, maybe you don't. Maybe the Indiana game, I mean, when we lost that football game, the Indiana game was like, I can't believe we lost 31-7. to seven. That's what basically the mindset of our football team. Uh, and then we lose in overtime. You know, so those are two points. Then as you get to the later, later part of the season, you know, the last two games, we played very, very competitively. We got a chance to win both those games. But Penn State game got out of hand in the fourth quarter. They're a fourth quarter team. We weren't this year. Uh, we didn't score four times in the red zone in the first half. We kicked field goals. Consequently, we were up 12-10 as opposed to being up, you know, 28-10 minimum. So entirely different situations. Um, got a chance for a two-point conversion. Got to make the throw. Got to make a play. It's open. So don't know what's going to happen after that, but <clears throat> there's a lot of reflection in this season. There's a lot of it. You go to the Illinois game, you know, we're marching down the field to win the football game. 
Uh, didn't play well enough defensively. I mean, look at the Maryland game. Didn't play well enough defensively. Things happen in that football game that are out of character. Um, you know, so just a lot. Just a lot of things to think about as you, as you mull things over. So is there one sticking point? There just, there's a lot of them. Has this re-energized you? I yeah, guess. it has. It has. Um, because it's sort of like not on my watch. Not on my watch. We'll do things right, and we're going to get ready to play football.